One of my earliest memories of my mom was painting my nails. If I didn't bite my nails Monday to Friday, I would get a new color. And as a result, my nail polish collection grew quite extensively. I wasn't aware just how much it would influence my adult life at the time. I'd watch her rub her lotions and potions and listen to her explain how important it was to have a good face care ritual. To this day, the smell of oil valet reminds me of my mom. Back when information wasn't as widely available about the quality of the products. Who would have guessed a brief glimpse in time would have such a driving impact on my adult life? In my teenage years, there wasn't a nail salon that I did not visit. Acrylic nails were all the rage. As someone who could not grow their own nails, I loved having mine look beautiful. However, I associated beauty with pain. The bleeding nail beds, the dremel burns, little did I know it would take years for my nails to recover. After high school, my dad was insistent on me going through for a trade. He was of the opinion that you would at least have something to fall back on always. Aesthetics was the only solution. I found a private career college with small class sizes. I was the youngest in my class, having just graduated high school. I would graduate college with honors by my 18th birthday. Soon after graduating, I started working at a large local spa in Coburg. Life has many bends and twists and turns along the way. I took a different path from my small age for the profession that I loved. Purchasing my first home opened the opportunity to go back into that direction. I was so excited that I poured everything that I thought everyone else wanted into it. I was stagnant with the same clientele and not much growth. This was not the life that I'd envisioned for the spa. Life once again threw another curveball, but it would be the best one possible. I finally was able to step outside of my comfort zone. For me, this meant finally getting with the times and making a social media account. This was something I was dead against. I had no interest in selling myself or being put in the public eye. I just wanted to practice my trade. So I enlisted the help with my social media. After losing my mom to a 14 year battle with cancer, I threw myself into the spot, dedicating every spare minute I had, not only to the trade, but to continuing education. With the goblins growing, we outgrew our little Cobra home that we loved so much. The town was getting rougher, and I knew this wasn't the life that my children were going to live. We packed our bags to move quite literally to the middle of nowhere. I didn't want to be in the country, but I didn't want my children's childhood tainted. Little did I know what the universe had in store. Four weeks, three and a half days after moving in, we awoke at 4 a.m. to our house on fire. Alongside it, we watched all of our hopes and dreams burn. My husband got all the heartbeats out safely, but not without trauma, as we watched the fire trucks drop by our house on fire and then got stuck. The next two years were hell and brought many changes. We finally moved back home, and the community of Workworth was nothing short of amazing. They showed up for us in a huge way, embracing not only our business, but us. If I asked what the earliest childhood memory of our relationship, Paige would tell you that it was the manicures and how I preached the importance of a good face care ritual. But more than that, she would tell you that the business helped to shape the relationships that she We were building not just a business, but an empire. When we've done as a family, through much trial and error, we pivoted and adjusted. I set up to be the best. My true passion lies in facials. And what you get at Paper Aesthetics is like no other. I had a business coach tell me that people wouldn't travel more than 20 minutes to get a service. And I am so glad that I no longer let people put me inside of their boxes, as it's not uncommon for my clients to drive two hours. We have quite the name for ourselves, not just in general, but with inside of our own industry. We service a lot of other professionals. We've been working with a chemist and have launched our own facial brand, not a VIP. We want our children to learn to come together, embracing each other's strengths and weaknesses. It is our only hope that when they look back on their childhood, they know that we stopped at nothing to give them the best life that they could have. This one costs us everything. The dad and I built it from the ground up, much like a phoenix rising from the ashes. Hamburg Aesthetics is what it is due to our small business community. The real faces behind the brand, those that encourage us to shine bright. 
but also to the unsung hero, Mr. Cameron, the one behind every photo, every video, and every project. He sure complains a lot, but he gets it done. I don't know what their future holds for us, but what I do know is that we will face it as a family and overcome any obstacle.